If you're lucky enough to have a DJI Mini 4 Pro or a DJI Air 3 or a DJI Mavic 3, any of the Mavic 3s, then you're probably aware that there's a fantastic feature built into these drones in the DJI Fly app and that is waypoints. Now, I've never paid much attention to the DJI waypoint feature because with my Mini 2, I've always use Litchi, it's my preferred app, third party app for, for flying waypoint missions. And with my DJI Mini 3 Pro, my preferred app is DroneLink. And the features on the, those two apps are, are, are incredible. You can customize a waypoint mission to the finest detail. And when I, whenever I looked at the DJI waypoint feature, it looked a bit thin to me. I thought, well, there's not really much to it, so I, I'm not going to bother with it. I was wrong. It's a fantastic feature and it allows you to carry out missions that are literally impossible to do manually. And I'm going to give you an example of that today, show you the mission and then show you how I set the mission up. And it's a very simple mission. It consists of two waypoints and one point of interest. That's it. Simple to set up. So before I... Uh, fly the mission and show you how to set it up. Let me explain what it is. My Mavic 3, the Wallace, is going to start off about 100 metres along this river and that is going to be his first waypoint. He's going to fly along the river, keeping this bridge here as a point of interest. And as he flies over the bridge, he's gonna, the gimbal is going to tilt down and look directly at the bridge and he's going to turn around and rotate and fly backwards <laughs> about 100 metres along the other side of the bridge along the river. So, to carry out this, this manually would be fairly complicated and I'm going to attempt to do that fly it manually. And I'm, I'm not a bad flyer, I've been flying for about three and a half years which isn't a huge amount of time but it's, it's enough for me to, to, to believe that I'm above better than competent as a flyer as a manual flyer uh, so i'm going to attempt it and you'll be able to see what it's like with, with me who's no expert but uh, i'd say better than competent uh, trying it manually and i'll try my best compared with the waypoint actually carrying it out automatically what i'll have to do is i'll have to fly forwards imagine i'm the drone fly forwards and as i'm flying have gradually tilt the gimbal down, keeping the bridge as a point of interest, keep keeping it down, and as I hit the bridge, rotate myself, and start flying backwards, and as I fly backwards, start rotating the gimbal up as I fly backwards. That's what I have to do manually. So, fairly complicated. I haven't tried it out. I'm going to try it out and see if, it, if I can do it. So, what I'll do now is, I'll try, I'll cancel the return to home, and I'll try to fly that myself manually. To see if I can do it. Right, so there we are. He's out about the same distance, about 100 metres. Face him towards the bridge. Now what I'm going to have to do here is, as I fly him towards it, I'm going to have to try and tilt the gimbal down uh, as he hits the bridge, rotate him, bring him backwards and bring the gimbal up. So that quite a lot in here, so I'll be fairly quiet now as I as I, as I attempt this. So here we go, starting the mission. And I can't keep, if I have to keep the, the same speed as well. So this is manual, without, I could use cruise control and things like that. There, so, okay, so that's him over, so what I'm going to have to do now is rotate. That's not bad, actually. No, rotate and then fly backwards. Whoop, over, over, did it, overcompensated, and bring the gimbal up. So that was no bad, actually. And I reckon with, uh, with a few practice runs, few a few runs, spent maybe five, six runs, I could get that pretty pretty good, okay? But the waypoint mission did it automatically itself. However, let me get, get another go. Just out just to see out of curiosity. Now that I know what I'm what I have to do manually. 
Let's see if I can get it any better the second time. Right, okay, so get him facing the bridge, the point of interest. So there we go, point of interest. It's flying towards it, and as I'm flying towards it, I'm going to gently bring the gimbal down. And as I reach that, I'm going to rotate them. And then, oh, no, lost it again. <laughs> bring the gimbal up. Right, you could, if you, if you think I'm at it, if you think I'm, I'm kidding on here and making a mess of it on purpose, I'm really not. And you can go out and try it yourself and see, try that manoeuvre. And you'll see just how difficult it actually is. Point updated. So to program the mission, it's quite simple. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the Wallace. Take off. And I'm going to fly him along the river to where I want my first waypoint to be. So, I'm going to send them up to a height of 30 metres. But let's make it 40 metres. So there we are, he's up at 40 metres. And I'm going to fly him out around about 100 metres. So there he is at 100 and... <laughs> need, to, need to adjust my expo settings a little bit there, I think. Right, so there he's at, 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 at 100 metres-ish. I'm going to turn him round to face the bridge. And this is going to be my first waypoint right here. So to... To create a waypoint, you would click on the little wiggly, wiggly symbol on the left side of the screen. It will bring up this here, and this is how you plan your waypoint. So it's already in the waypoint, there's a POI, or there's a waypoint. So we're in a waypoint, and to add the waypoint of where he is, the position he is, the height he is, the distance he is, all you do is hit the plus. And that's your first waypoint programmed in already, as simple as that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the little up arrow which will reduce that uh, waypoint mission planner so I can see my screen and I'm going to fly them over the bridge, over the bridge this time to about 100 metres down the other side of the bridge. So there's about a hundred metres, give or take a metre or two. Right, there it is. So I'm going to turn him around to face the bridge. And this time, I'll bring up, I can either hit my C1 button, which I programmed to add a waypoint, or you can bring the, your waypoint plan back up and hit the plus button which will add your second waypoint. If you see on the map, oops, <laughs> so many features. If you see on the map there now, you'll be able to see the mission. There's the two waypoints. Waypoint one, where he started, and he's actually hovering over waypoint two just now. So, to finally complete this mission, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fly him so that he's directly over the bridge. And I'll hit the little arrow here to reduce that so I can see, see my screen a bit better. I'll fly him so that he's over the bridge. And I can look at the map to see where that is. So there it's there. And 
and he's drifted slightly off, so I'll pull him a little bit left there. And if I bring the gimbal down, just to make sure that I'm right over the bridge. And there I am. And what I can do now, I can open the plan back up, click on the POI, the point of interest. And if I add a point of interest, it's going to add that bridge. Well, it's not going to add the bridge. It's going to add the point of interest as the location of the drone. Now, the location of the drone is 40 metres above the bridge. So what I have to do with the POI is click on it to go into it. And in the altitude, that's where the POI is set at the moment. Well, I want, I want it to be set at the bridge. So I'm going to bring that altitude down to, say, one metre, which will be... It means that the point of interest will focus just one metre above that bridge and that's where the, the gimbal will point. All going well. So the other thing, the final thing you have to do is link the two waypoints. You can either do that by clicking on all of your waypoints individually or you can hit select all and it will select all your waypoints. And that means that your your, P, your point of interest is now linked with the two waypoints. So all the, all the way along the journey between the two waypoints, the, the gimbal will look at the point of interest. Okay, so what you can do now is, if you want, you can save that mission by hitting the little paper icon in the left here. And then you can hit save. And save as will allow you to rename it if you hit the wee editing icon. And you can call this, if you want, uh, I don't know, let's see, Bridge Mission. And I like to keep the date in. I don't like to delete the date out so I know, I know when I did it. Right, we're going to save that. Save it. And then go back to the Waypoint Mission. And what I'll do now is, you can, you can do other things like, for example... If you go into your waypoints and you look at your first waypoint, you can first of all set the camera action at waypoint one to ha uh, to start the mission, and I'll actually do that. So it's start recording, and here comes a wee truck. So I might pause my <laughs> I might pause my narration is this until this truck gets past. But you can start recording at waypoint mission one. You can set your global speed, and I'll set the global speed, uh, well, I'll do that in a minute, actually. Uh, so that's waypoint one, is going to start recording, and at waypoint two, if we move on to waypoint two, I'm going to get the camera to stop recording. You don't have to do this, but if you, if you only want the mission recorded, you can do that. The other thing I like to do is, if, if you go into the three dots, that'll bring up your global settings, and at the, at the, there's a few things you can change. I like to, if there's a signal loss, I want the, the mission to continue. Okay, so even if it loses signal, it will continue the mission and you won't lose all of that work you put into it. I'm going to set the global speed a wee bit higher than that. I'm going to set the global speed to, let's say, 6. 6 metres per second-ish. Right, 6.1, that will do. And I want it to, at the end of the flight, return to home okay you can set it to hover or whatever you like I, I want it to return to home so that's it i can resave it with those settings in but what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to hit go and what it will do is it's uploading the route to the drone and it's now he is now going to fly to the first waypoint and hopefully he'll change his gimbal and he'll he'll get himself all set up ready to record hopefully I haven't tested this prior, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's all theoretical until now. There we go, he's spinning round. And I already had the recording running, so the recording's running. So there we go, so he's looking at the bridge. He's starting the mission, and I'm hoping that the gimbal will tilt down as he flies over the top of it. It is doing, so there we go. So because the bridge is the point of interest, the gimbal is pointing down. At the bridge, he should now turn round as he's doing, <laughs> keeping the bridge as the point of interest in the screen on the screen, and now fly backwards. 
and as he flies back, his gimbal will tilt up because he's getting further away, and you get a nice, a nice shot of the of the, the surrounding scenery. I'm ready with you. And there you go, the returning did stop, the, the recording did stop there at the end as it was programmed to do and now he's returning to home. So a very successful waypoint mission, just choosing two waypoints and one point of interest. So there you go, a uh, waypoint, a simple waypoint mission, as I, as I keep repeating, two waypoints, one point of interest, very simple to set up. You can actually set up, if you know the area very well and you know the heights uh, uh, of everything you're, 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 you're going to be filming at, you can actually plan it at home or, any, or in the car before you do your flight, anywhere where it's nice and warm, you can plan the flight on, using the map and then carry it out. Uh, you don't actually have to do it on location, uh, either using this screen or connecting yeah, this controller or the RC2 to a massive big screen. I use a 55 inch television as my main monitor because my eyes are old and I can't see as well as I could when I was a whippersnapper. So having a big screen can help. So you can pre-plan your, your mission uh, and then come out and just hit go and it should go and do it itself. And I'll do that in another video. What I'll do is I'll they're actually going to be doing some work in this road for the next two weeks so I wouldn't be able to come down here but I'll find another location that I'm familiar with and I will plan a mission at home uh, just exactly as I did today but the same mission flying over something rotating and flying backwards keeping a point of interest I'll plan it all out at home come out and just hit hit the, the go button and see what the result is so I'll do that and and maybe even the next video alright so as usual you know what I'm saying thumbs up and all that I'll see you on the next one.